Hello and welcome to Monster Train. My name is Bro. I'm your conductor for this fantastic trip. Uh, this is a new series, a new YouTube channel. We're going to try some new stuff. We're going to try some good stuff. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and uh, I actually started listening to a podcast that said, you know what, if you're going to do something, you just got to do it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to do it. So uh, bear with me. We're going to have some problems, I'm sure. We're going to have some fun. Uh, we're probably going to die, and this is going to be a real quick video, but we're going to do this. So uh, like I said, my name is Bro. I'm going to be here for hopefully a long time playing games with you, having fun, and uh, building a community. So uh, let's just start right here. This is, uh, like I said, Monster Train. Uh, this is just the demo version. <clears throat> uh, it does come out on May 21st of the this year. I believe it's coming to Steam and don't quote me but I, I think Xbox. Don't quote me on that though. Um, I will put a link in the description of the video to Monster Train if you do like it. Um, and let's go ahead and just jump right in. We're just gonna have some fun. So uh, first off, this is sight unseen. Never played this game, um, just saw it on Steam and was like, hey, this looks like a good place to start. Uh, I do like deck builders, I like roguelites. This was both of them, so um, why not? You know, find something that you like and, and stick with it. So we're just going to go, we're going to go right here to this battle. Looks like I got a foe that's waiting for me. As you can see, this is the pre release beta. Um, I do plan on buying the game when it comes out, um, but just thought this would be fun. So uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and hit fight here. These disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of, he of, the he of heaven and will attempt to restore the life of their companions. So let's see what this is all about. Let's jump in. All right, so this is the pyre. Uh, we're going to protect this pyre. And if it takes too much damage, the enemy attacks, your run will be over. Okay. Enemies have boarded your train. Enemies enter from the lowest level and move up up one level every turn. If they reach the top, they'll attack a pyre. Cool. Oh, so this is... If you ever played Slay the Spire, it looks like it's pretty similar to that. Uh, looks like we have an energy level here at the top. Uh, let's see, summon, defend your train. Okay. And then we've got an energy here on the side, it looks like. Number of cards probably in our deck. In turn. Discard pile. Okay. So this looks pretty, pretty simple. Pretty much like, like I said, like Slay the Spire. Uh, so let's jump in. We're going to just put our monster right here on the train. And let's see. The Hornbreaker Prince. It's got multi-strike, which means he attacks two, turn, two times each turn. And Rage. Decrease every turn. Plus ten. Oh, okay, that's nice. So hopefully we can uh, get done with this real quick and see. Um, let's see. We have three. So let's go ahead and... and ah. If you notice, when I played that character up here at the top of the cart, now they're actually added in another energy spot, so uh, it looks like we can only have up to five energy on each level of the train. Ah, I see three levels, so we got to do that. So uh, let's just do some damage here. This looks like a, like a typical strike, like what you'd see in, in Slay the Spire. So do we have to do... We don't have to do the first one, so that's good. Uh, so we can just attack that, attack him... And then, I mean, we're out of energy, so let's see. Once you end your turn, combat plays out automatically. First enemy attacks the friendly unit closest to them. And then any friendly unit who survived attack gets hit back. Okay. So it just kind of plays out until someone's left. So we have one hit point left. Restore. Restores three health. And train steward. Looks like we don't have any more room on this level for that, but we can restore, so why don't we do that? Can we... We cannot restore past their health, so we don't want to do that. I guess... I guess we should just go ahead and hit him and... Hit him again, I suppose? Seems good to me. Let's do it! Let's do it, let's see what happens. And we did it, great. But this guy is getting weaker, and I don't necessarily like that. Uh, let's go ahead and restore him again. And this time, since we don't have anybody coming, let's pop him up here. And, I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything else we can really do here. So I guess we'll just go ahead and in turn. And yeah, it looks like every time that is dropping off. Uh, defeat the boss to win. 
His relentless ability means that the combat continue until the room is defeated. So let's see. I'm assuming that that means he's going to attack continuously until we kill him. So let's go ahead and we'll pop another train steward up here. And we don't really need to heal, so we'll just pop him twice. And then turn and see what happens. And we probably could have healed that guy. I don't think I was paying attention. Okay. We don't uh, really look that strong here. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Nope. Well, that's not good. Oh, well, we can just kill him. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not used to talking this much, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a little bit of crud in my throat, I think. But we're gonna get past that too. All right, so spoils. Looks like we got a flawless battle, so that's good. We got an extra some extra points, coins, clan pack. No, I have to hit collect, of course. That would be serious, seriously stupid of me to think I could just do that. Let's see, fortify, add armor. Armor, so it, that armor works like it doesn't slow the spire. It's going to add like protect, protection to each character. So that's good. Uh, impolite. Impolite. Uh, deal, ten, deal damage to the front enemy equal to 10 times the number of imp units. We don't have any imp units, so we would want to get this before we get this and deal 10 damage to a random enemy unit. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Let's try it and see what happens. And we got Sting, so deal 5 damage to the front enemy unit, apply 2 spikes, and it looks like sti spikes are going to be like, uh, kind of like a shielded ability, or a, oh, you know, it's going to like hurt enemies when they attack. <clears throat> and then we've got Restore 10 Health, Draw 1. Well, Restore 10 Health, Draw 1 sounds better. Let's, let's go with Sting. Let's, let's try something different than what I think we should do. Because you know, the first instant instinct isn't always going to be the best. Let's see, we've got Merchant of Steel. Get more coins. Forge new powers. Magic Merchant. Ooh, and we can gain a unit. Well, we did have a little bit of issue keeping up with our units last time, but why don't we... Why don't we go this way and get the money? Can't imagine that you know it's a demo. I can't imagine it gets too too hard. But we'll see. So we can get rid of a card for 25, upgrade a unit for f plus 15 health, plus five health, plus three attack. Ooh, let's do this. Oh, we can do that to that imp too. Why don't we do that? Can we upgrade and give him more health? We can. I mean, I kind of think that that sounds pretty good. Let's try that and see what happens. It's going to be this the motto. Try that and see what happens. Uh, these spiked foes will make direct attacks more painful using spells from afar to let you fight without sacrificing any units. Okay. So I think I think we kind of got an idea of what's going on here. So this guy we definitely want to put down here. And it looks like we can... Oh, okay, so it's going to tell us that if he dies or, or what right there. Or how much damage he's getting, okay. So why don't we put him in front so that his, he, he attacks more. That makes more sense. And we can use this to hurt her, which got rid of the spikes. That's good, okay. Hit him with that. And then we're all out of turns, let's see. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so I think... I think we're getting a little bit more comfortable. I think we kind of know what's going on here. Maybe, maybe not really, but you know, we'll see. We'll see if we get it. Uh, so let's. Looks like she is doing something. What is she? What is she doing? So okay, so she grants spikes. So yeah, well let's give it to her. Let's do that. And what about him? What's going on with him? Nothing. He just does attacks, and he's just a big armored dude. Ten armor. Okay. Well, this is. Five, so let's do that. Nice. And I mean, we can't heal anybody, so I guess we'll just pop these guys up here, I suppose, and end the turn. 
Go from there, see what happens. See what happens. Okay, so now we got our imp, but there is nobody out here, so that kind of seems like a waste. Why don't we just heal them up? Doesn't look like that did anything. And we'll just go ahead and in turn. Oh, so ev okay, so every final final enemy, every boss character in each battle looks like they get have relentless. So it looks like we're gonna have to fight them on each floor until it's done. So why don't we pop this guy up here? And I guess that didn't do. I guess I misunderstood. I thought that that did 10 damage to somebody. So let's attack her with that, because that makes sense. And I guess we're just gonna see what happens now. Oh, come on. I'm gonna speed up comment. Combat. Com comment. Combat. Oh, up here at the top. Oh, nice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, so let's see. We can sting him. Do a little bit of damage. Hit him two. Two. There's no reason to heal because nobody's taking any damage. We're going to do this until we're all done. And I have a feeling that he's going he's gonna to kill me. Great. So we'll do the same thing. Sting for five. And then one. And two. And three. Okay, well, I have a feeling this is not going to go as well as I wanted to, but we will see what happens. Yep. Okay, so do I... Ah. So you don't instantly die. It looks like your pyre actually has a little bit of attack damage and health, so that's good. And... Looks like we've got some different clans, different packs of cards for our monsters. So deal to random enemy unit. Yeah, I guess I did read that right. I don't I don't know why it didn't do any damage. Uh, let's see, apply 10 armor to a friendly unit. Oh, I mean, we've got one of these. Why don't we just get one of these? Sounds like a good idea. Apply rooted. It's next time the unit would move between floors, bosses are immune. Well, that doesn't seem, you know, it looks like we're doing pretty good so far, so that doesn't seem like something we're really worried about so far. Another sting would be good. Uh, restore 15 health to your friendly unit, unit and deal damage to the front enemy equal to double the amount healed. Well, we're not really taking a whole lot of damage either. Let's, we're going to take another sting. I think you and me both know that that is the smarter plan. Okay, so now we've got another choice. We can work health or duplicate any card I don't really know what would, what would we duplicate we can't duplicate that because that's our champion hmm I don't think that going that way is a real good choice we can forge better spells we can gain a unit yeah let's go what are we doing let's go this way okay let's see who we can get here Rated Warrior, Rage 3, Slay, apply, apply 2, Rage to Friendly Unit. That looks, that sounds pretty great. And we don't even have enough energy to play this one. So yeah, let's, let's do this. Seal Cavern, something can be found in the Frozen. Well, let's test this out and see what this is. Looks like a, like a question mark spot in uh, Slay the Spire. I keep referring to that. If you've never played Slay the Spire, I highly recommend it. But this is actually really well polished. I really like this game. This seems really cool so far. And it's actually a little bit quicker pace, which I like. Uh, let's see, a fissure in the ice forces the bone shaker, bone shaker to stop. <clears throat> You've seen cracks like this before, often allowing you to multiply your forces through some ancient magic. But this one is different, unstable. Throwing something into the fissure could have unusual side effects. Well, just absorbing the energy from afar could have the more expected effect. So how do you approach the ice fissure? Absorb from afar so I can copy a card or copy a card five times. I don't even know what we would copy for five times. Why don't we, why don't we just copy one? Oh, we could have copied him though. That would have been great. Okay, let's just, we're just gonna duplicate him. That seems like yeah, probably the smartest plan. 
And I'm just assuming that I can just hit these in any order, but I guess I probably can. If not, that would have been really bad. Hello, return your hand. Oh, okay. Wow, that sounds pretty good. And these cost one less. We can't re-roll anything, so why don't we... Let me try this. What, what, would we, what would we want to bring back? I guess a sting? I mean... Why don't we just do this and make... Make it torch free. That, I think that makes these a little bit better, making them free. I don't think that keeping them is really a great idea. We could do that with a stain, but I would think that we wouldn't want to do that, that that often. I don't know. Okay, so this looks like, is this, this is probably our first boss. A heavily armored creation protect his ex, this ex-professor from his quest to safeguard. Okay. So enemy units enter with the damage shield. Nullify the next source of damage. So they're gonna he's gonna make enemies with shields. Okay. That doesn't sound too complicated. I think we got this. I think we got this. Oh, and he moves between floors freely. So I does that mean he can attack our pyre at any point? Shuffle triggers. This bomb has a triggered ability that will explode on its turn, dealing damage. Mouse over units with the purple trigger icon to see the details of their abilities. Ooh. Well, that's not, that's not very fun. Okay, so let's see. This guy's got a little bit more health. So why don't we pop him in here. We'll pop one of these guys back behind. We'll pop him up here with one of these guys back behind. Now let's pop him in front. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then that's it. We don't have anything else to do. And that wasn't good. Nope, not at all. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. So let's maybe attack him one. Attack him. And we're still gonna die. Alright, well that's, that's the way, that's the way the news goes, I guess. You know? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, so, well that did ten, that was dumb, that was dumb. I should have waited until I hit him, uh, because the first hit of damage is going to be uh, nullified. So, look, he's only going to get hit for two, though. I wonder why. No, we'll see. He only attacked one time. It's a good thing our pyre is real strong. Because I clearly, uh... Did not make the best choices when it comes to enemies. Let's see, let's put that there. Why don't we put a train sewer here. We can res... No, no. No, 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 no. Let's jump him up here to the top level and we'll put this little this little guy back here. Okay. So it does it, it does apply to somebody on that floor. So he gave him the armor. So I was wrong about the way that that worked the last time. So you see, we just we got to learn new stuff. We got to learn new stuff every time we play. That's how we're going to get better. We're going to get quicker. And we're going to get going. So there's nothing else I can do, so let's just go ahead and hit, hit in turn. Oh, we did kill some people. 
so... Well... We're not dead, so that's... That's an upgrade. And let's see, uh, we can just... Looks like that's gonna hit that guy too. So why don't we... Use Torch and get rid of her shield. We can buff this guy's health. Use Torch on that guy. Sting, that might help. And I guess go from there. I definitely should have got more strong guys. I should have done the, the copy five cards. Looking back at it, that was not the best choice. Okay, so let's see. There, we need to get rid of the shield. That's what we need to do. And we can restore his health up. That makes the most sense. We can restore this guy. We can restore this guy. We can restore him again. So is he actually attacking this time? Holy cow. He's got 100. Yep. Well, I think it's safe to say, guys, that this is not going to be a win on our first run. I know that it shocks everyone. It, it really shocks me. Because I thought for sure we were just going to beat the game in the first try. And clearly... Clearly that's what's happening right now. I'm just joking. So, we're just gonna keep, I guess, just throwing these down. We don't have a whole lot of things we can do here. Definitely should have copied that card five times. The good thing is our pirate attacks 20. That's crazy. So much damage. So we're just free damage here. And, I mean, these guys can't even survive one hit, so we'll just use it to get rid of it, I guess. Alright, well. I mean, we, were, we actually weren't that far off to be, to be serious. Two more hits and we would have made it if we could have kept one of our strong guys alive. So not horrible. Oh, we leveled up each, each uh, clan, it looks like. The Hellhorn in Awoken. Oh, we had an ally. Okay. That makes sense why we had some that will look different. And we only got to the third level out of, what, eight? So that's that seems like we could do that in, in probably about a half an hour, 45 minutes. Or maybe not half an hour, probably 45 minutes to an hour. All right. So like I said, this was Monster Train. It does come out on Steam on May 21st, and I do recommend it. It seemed like a lot of fun. Um, I will be back to play more of it. Hopefully we can get the full game uh, here soon and actually start digging into it. So uh, if you liked what you saw, I would recommend it, or would recommend. I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. Uh, share it to your friends. Uh, it does help me a lot. If you want to keep up with me and see what, what we do and go on this crazy journey with me, hit the subscribe button. That would help me. Um, so yeah, again, this is Monster Train. My name is Bro. I've been your conductor. And uh, have a wonderful evening. And we'll uh, see you next time. All right, bye.